Right, hello everybody. A, diff a break from Dark Elves. We're up against High Elves. Um, okay, this is nice. He's got he's got a journeyman. So that means we do get to scum. Ding Donger, that's his name. Do get to scum a uh, a chef, which isn't that good because he's got three rerolls. But hey, um, we'll definitely get the chef and then go for it. Right. Just need to change the sound here. Bear with me. Right, there we go. Glorious. No, I won't <laughs> give <you> <laughs> in until I'm victorious. And I will I defend. Four levels of blue I will defend. No. Mm. Yeah, hopefully there's some value on the show. I mean, could just roll three, right? But I mean, it's probably only going to be one or two. I think, I think it's a lot better against two re-roll people. There you go, one. Alright. Okay, he's kicking. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd kind of choose to kick as well. Um, okay, somebody somebody stayed fantastic for ages and I completely ignored it because I was doing something or thinking about something. What? Who was it? Does Scotty said North a minute ago. <laughs> um, oh, wow. So there's three people. Does Scotty, thank you very much for staying fantastic for nine months with North. <laughs> and Ziggy1982, thank you very much for staying fantastic for three months. With, oh shit, I forgot to run sub again. I guess that's another month of giving Jimmy my money. Jim Potato, thanks for the streams. Thank you very much. And on Nani with 41 beaver pregnancies. Unbelievable. So many violated beavers. <laughs> thank you very much, Ardvac. Uh, thank you very much, Onania, sorry. And congratulations to Ardvac and Onania on the 24 hours of Nürburgring, wasn't it? Um, thank you very much, guys. Oh, it's a nice, it's a nice fella, isn't it? Like this chap already. Um, it's always the nice ones that fuck you over, though I've noticed. I always notice it's the it's the nice ones that fuck me over. But yeah, thank you very much, Omar. Oh Staying fantastic. Twenty four hours in the ring. That's uh, that's brutal, isn't it? <laughs> So should we go like this? Oh, I can put side steppers on the sides. Him there. I don't need these on the LOS, do I? And that's kind of easier to break through there, that's the problem. Oh, you were trying to snipe. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, fuck off. At least I set up for the blitz. Hello. <laughs> Give him the hello. At least then I'm not offending him. <laughs> Fucking blitz. Wow. <laughs> Let me win! <laughs> someone's in someone's in fat and stream last night when they when they spun into him and I was like, let him win! <laughs> but uh I think he did let him win as well actually, so that was very nice. That was very nice for fatting. <laughs> oh yeah, fan folks, yeah, the Among Us all, man. The, the towels in Among Us are right, pain in the ass, aren't they? Hey, he's done it with GFI. Woo! Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good idea, Chimney. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, 
Oof. Yeah, that's good. That was a nice. He's only done one reroll now, isn't it? That's a lovely. That is a lovely reroll burn. Love to see it. Got some hot tree action. It's still probably wise to punch him. Can punch because two dice blocks never fail. Yep. Hmm, now I guess I've got to make him pick up. That makes the dodge harder, doesn't it? You're standing there. He could do the 2D first, and that makes that a 3D. Cut that off, so there's a link on thing. Third dice gets the pal, love to see it. Forget about grab, would have put him there if I'd realised. <laughs> but never mind. Right, not a bad turn. Not a bad turn there. And now the Blitz hasn't caused us massive issues, but has sucked off a reroll. Wonderful. It was a bountiful harvest. <laughs> oh, God, screw it. Oh, dear. Wow, that's amazing, shouldn't it? All zoning whoop. Yeah, high elves do all look the same. But the, the problem I have with high elves is they don't look like a sports team, do they? It's, it's, the, the high elves are probably my biggest issue with Blood Bowl 3rd Ed when it came out in Tabletop. Because they just look like a, a high elf army. At least they've given them, like, you know, kind of like American football grills kind of thing. But the, uh, but the Blood Bowl high elf models were just like, they just literally look like they'd taken. You know, like they were even called Phoenix Warriors as well. They were like called Phoenix Warriors and Lion Warriors, and they and Dragon Warriors. And they just looked like they'd taken a Dragon Prince and fucking weapon snipped him. And they'd taken like high elf spearmen and weapon snipped them and stuff. And it just, I just kind of fucking hated it. <laughs> what? What's this? Ding dong. -a. I mean, it's a sports game, isn't it? That's that's the thing, right? They're like, American footballers don't dress with fucking body armor, and you know they don't dress like SWAT teams or anything, do they? Are like Navy SEALs? Like it just, 
<laughs> they should dress like sports teams because they're playing a sport. Si ça continue comme ça, je retourne regarder un épisode de Game of Gnome. Right. We'll get to the middle. Cette formation permet d'avancer sans trop de risques. Ça va être dur de leur arracher le ballon. If I punch him, then I then I get the follow up, don't I? So this seems reasonable. Allez, mon gros, écrabouille-moi ça. Ce n'est pas toujours le favori qui gagne, mais cette fois-ci. I don't need to activate him. Get a square. He should have gone a square further forward as well, I guess. Yeah, but that's what I mean. They, they, they used to. That's why I didn't like. That's this is exactly what I'm saying, Bringer of Doom. That's why I didn't like Third Ed when the models came out because Second Ed, they dressed it like sports teams, and then Third Ed, they didn't. They dressed like armies. <laughs> Scurro. No, but do you know what I mean, though. Like, that, like that. That's all I'm saying. That's I just didn't really like. But it's, I mean, it was especially jarring with uh, with high elves because, like, Skaven. Skaven, like, okay, the gut is wearing the the masks and shit. The, every yeah, most people had like spiky shoulder pads and stuff, didn't they? Like, mo most people had like a bit something a bit blood bally and. The High Elves really didn't really have anything Blood Bowl at all. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm going to make a cage here. Oh, could blitz him. Ski est bien avec le Blood Bowl, c'est que c'est fichtrement fait des radars. Des hommes, des humains, et même des hommes bêtes. Tous réunis pour en découdre sur le terrain. I want to blitz with him, but then it's only two dice. Has he moved up to here now? And he can go two in there, and then he can just be moving in there. Ça cherche clairement le corps à corps. Woo! Ça me rappelle la célèbre histoire. Glorious 3D. Gets the cars as well, a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> I'm going to put all skills on so I can see which ones are the fucking blitzers. So, is that wrestle or kick? Woo! Right. Not bad, not bad. This is going pretty well. He's out of rerolls. At the halfway line, got trees. Progressed into the half. Not looking bad at all. Yeah, no block as well. The, the no block is the uh, is the thing, right? It, you know, Chaos especially just have got no block to start. High Elves have got two. Like, the bad matchups, obviously Dwarves, but like, th teams like Norse and Humans, like, especially Norse as well, but like, Humans having four block. 
Dark Elves having four block. The uh, bl block is a big problem. Like obviously, most people don't have tackle on a starting team, but particularly the block makes a big difference. So it is really tricky for like Chaos and Nurgle and teams like that, even Lizards. Not having uh, not having those blockers to block with. There you go. See what I mean? <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, Chunter. I mean, they're doing all right at the moment, aren't they? Seven, two, three is okay. The problem is, I think the record's going to get worse. Even though I've got the edge four fling, I think the record's going to get worse just because of, you know, playing higher TV teams. They are the things that ruin you, aren't they? They are the things that ruin you. Is, is block and tackle. I need about this kind of win rate for 30 games. <laughs> um, 36 games. Ish. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Have to blitz him. Well, I'm not if I put both of these four and use them as the cage corners. Which I guess I can. He's not the cage corner. Anymore. Oh, I fucked that, I mean. I fucked it. That's fucking wrong place. He should have been here. Now I've got to put three in. <laughs> what a dickhead. Steve him down. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like a lot of times, I've I've had no expectations because it's halflings and their shit. Hello, Fatin. Um, a lot, like a lot of the times, I've thought, oh god, this, you know, it, it, like it's halflings. I'm not going to win, right? But then sometimes their team's bad, or you know, they're not playing great. They've got no rerolls, and you think I might actually win this, and then those are the hard ones. <laughs> those are the hard ones. Um, but yeah, if if you don't math. Like a 66% win rate. Um, which is this. Then that, that gets you qualified, doesn't it? So, and you know, this is, six, this is when it, it wins and four losses right now. So, maintaining this win rate for another, another 24 games would get us top flings. But, as Chunter says, more block, more uh, more tackle as you go up in TV makes it more and more tricky. So 
Someone fouled my halfling. Someone actually fouled a halfling with like a dark elf lineman. <laughs> Absolute madness. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, that, that's, that's just getting matched. Like you know, you can get match five hundred TV down, can't you? Like you can. Oh wow, that would be nice. Hey. Mm. Yeah, exactly, Highly Boy. Yeah, like that's the thing, isn't it? Right, you can, you can end up like just a lot of TV down. Well, not even a lot of TV down. Like at least if you're 500 TV down, you're gonna have some inducements. But you can just yeah, just a mighty blow tackler is fucking scary enough, isn't it? It's quite nice getting all these guys in, in a tree, a tree fucked position. <laughs> I suppose they would, yeah. But then, I mean, they don't need to be that high, do they? They just like it's probably more dangerous if you're like, you know, well, it shouldn't as TV. You can, you can run into like a fourteen hundred TV team that just has block and tackle and just mighty blow and just fucking wrecks you, can't you? But you know, if you're like, whatever TV you are, people can have twelve hundred teams with a mighty blow tackler, and then it's bad news. Yeah, and you beat them <laughs> ridiculously. Um, but I mean, that, that's kind of not so bad, right? Because they're five hundred TV on you. They're not so bad when you when you have a lot of inducements to do something wild with. But like, like that's pro you know what I mean. Whereas you could have just had um, just a mighty blow tackle on a 1200 team in many ways could be more dangerous, couldn't it? <laughs> I mean, I know it's not really, but you know, you know what I mean. Like, they, you know what I mean. Obviously, you'd rather be f facing a 1200 team with one mighty blow tackler than top chaffs. But do you know what I mean? Like, they're they're not getting as much out of everything because they're already f they're already fucking with the first 1200. They don't need the rest, and that, and that's kind of like how how Rick's team's gone in playoffs, right? Yeah, he lost he lost all the extra stuff, but the main part of his team was just so fucking strong that like him losing the extra bits wasn't even that bad. Oh, is this the Blitzer? <laughs> Woo! Amazing! Amazing! Blitzer cast himself. There's another Blitzer here. Right, I could blitz him and just dodge away. I'd really hate to fail the dodge. But getting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like only one square away from. Being in range is real nice, isn't it? Like, I'd rather not throw if I don't have to. Ça me rappelle la célèbre histoire, Nurkling et Grand Immonde. 
fait son miracle cette fois-ci. Right. Fail dodge to here is pretty horrible. Fuck it. Woo! Put him there. He's further away from here. Autour du ballon, pas bête comme tactique. Maybe he goes on. Oh no, I can't go. Him. He could uphill power him, couldn't he? And then, now and then it's hard because he's not in the way. He's stand firm, so then he'd still have to dodge it. Yeah, this is good enough. Good enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I just need to go forward one square next turn. Woo! Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could have just, I could have just done anywhere, right? I could have just done anywhere. Because got the reserves. And. It's not that bad if it fails. Like, cause you are giving up like diamond tackle or whatever, aren't you, to have it? That's the, that's the thing. Whereas now I've the, the fact that I didn't have a, a sneaky get there. I had a sidestepper here and a sidestepper here, and could have had a sidestepper there as well or whatever. So it's. It was amazing that you got. Sneaky get and then roll the double for DP. Like, I mean, don't you know? I mean, don't get me wrong. If I roll the DP, I'd 100% get sneaky get on him. Like, that's that's a complete no-brainer, isn't it? Then, like a dirty player, sneaky get, even as bad as sneaky get is, pretty good when you've got DP already. And, you know, when you get for, for for halflings, not for a real team, <laughs> but for halflings, <laughs> pretty good. Oh, wow, he's giving us the three dice for the tree. Wonderful. Oh, he's rolled loads of ones, hasn't he? Love to see it. Love to see this amount of ones. Okay, let's not do, be too hasty here. Okay, now I'm totally doing this block first. He can blitz and then make a cage up there. I think I just have to do that. Because I've got the three players, I don't know. Do the. Yeah, okay, I can do this first. Take the old 3D. Ho ho ho! Powered him! All the dodges, let's go, champs. Let's go, champs! Oh, yes. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, what a half. This has been two cars, including a blocker. Nearly got him. I mean, imagine get taken out the blodger. That would be incredible. The bad thing here is he can go for the... Uh, the uphill, and if he gets the power, he's in on the ball. Maybe I shouldn't have taken everyone there. Maybe I should have put another halfling in here. Another halfling should have just stood here to show that up, I guess. 
Yeah, there's a few times when I would have re-rolled things as well. Like, I would have re-rolled some roots. Um, but obviously, I just haven't failed anything. <laughs> it's pretty good when you never fail anything, isn't it? It's pretty good when you just don't fail any dice rolls. <laughs> yep, not even sent off. I mean, in a fact, sent off wouldn't have mattered at all with three reserves. Yeah, just roll good, yeah, 100%. Roll good. Roll good. Yeah, he's rolled pretty badly. Like it's not it's not even as if it's just been rolling good, it's also him rolling badly. He's failed a lot of dodges. Hey. Right, so there's all sorts of things on the on the table here, isn't there? Let's start with a three D. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Um, right, two. Oh, he can't read. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. So could three dice this one, but then there's no player for the one there. So it's only going to be a 2D. see it. <laughs> Another pal. <laughs> this has been crazy dice. He's like, gym dice are a lie. What is this? <laughs> That's got to be one of the luckiest times of Blood Brawl I've ever had. <laughs> it's crazy. Literally nothing failed and pretty much everything was a pal. Unbelievable. And like, he made a few, oh, yeah. he, made a, you know, he made a few dodges, he made oh, a few GFIs, but it, I think he definitely rolled too many ones. Oh. <laughs> he definitely rolled too many ones. Yeah, maybe you that's it to swim. Positive, then, uh, maybe that's it. Suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby. It's the being nice. Play better, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fair, Chum. Also, do, do you like receiving? Because that's something I never thought about, to be honest, whether to kick or receive. Um... Like, obviously, receiving lets you high roll people sometimes. But obviously, if you kick, then you've got more chance of having players alive for the one turn. Because you kind of do want 11 players, don't you? So that you can you can uh, get enough players to, uh, you know, to collect the ball and get it to your one turn. So... So I, I've, I've tended to kick. I've tended to kick a decent amount of the time. TBH. I do find offense. I do struggle on offense with these guys. Let's see if that is three. Maybe just two. Yeah, two then. All right. Yeah, exactly. Not many skills. Yeah, they've only got two blocks. They've only got two rerolls. So. Do you like receiving? Yeah, fair enough, Chunt. <laughs> I'm getting the ball in my hands early. <laughs> Oh, 
Hey, there was a blitz. If the ball is not in the end zone, so it's okay. Like, the blitz is only good if the ball's in the end zone and might scatter in the end zone. So, like... There was no reason to set up against the blitz. Maybe I should have put a uh, tree on. Maybe I should have put trees on the LOS. Because he's going to struggle with 2D them, isn't he? Like, by putting trees on the LOS and flings behind him, he only gets to hit two flings, doesn't he? Well, this is disappointing. <laughs> I haven't taken any cars. Like, I've generally put trees on the LOS. But I thought, fuck me, I thought I haven't taken any cars. <laughs> I thought I haven't taken any cars. So I'll, uh, I'll put three flings on the LOS. And then there you go, there's your three cars. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny because he's had some shite dice. He has had some shite dice. That was just genuinely funny, wasn't it? A lot of people loll to moan about their dice. But that just was genuinely funny. They just all three got cleared out. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I mean, I would have re rolled Take Roots to be fair. Sera la clé de la victoire. Ah, so then say that's two and overwrite it. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, he's here. That's wrong, isn't it? So they can lob there on a yeah, yeah. If I'd done this, he just doesn't. He doesn't even hit the trees, does he? He hits one fling and blitzes another, and then it's better against a riot as well. Yeah, exactly. L L D V over me. Yeah, like it's not. It's not unlucky for eight turns. It was obviously tragic for one turn. But yeah, I guess I should have put a tree. I don't know, man. If you lose a tree, it's worse than losing trick three. Like, the thing is, I've still got the 11, haven't I? So. I don't know. I think it was right to put three flings on. But then, if I do this, he only hits two, doesn't he? Like, he genuinely only hits two. He's not going to try and hit the trees. And then on the blitz, get to hit some money as well. So yeah, probably should have set up just normally, I guess. Yeah, Ziggy, yeah, yeah, he had a <laughs> his turn, his turn eight, he made three cars off the LOS. Unbelievable. No one died, though. Now, surely, now, oh. Bosh. It is, yes, Goliath, um, and I'll tell you why. Because um, of the fucking 2K assholes. <laughs> the 2K people are, uh, are just penises, basically, for the most part. Not all of them, obviously. Some are all right, but for the most part, they're just fucking dicks that I don't want to fucking put up with. So... Yeah, the wrestling, double double E, the double double E people who turn up are just generally, like, people who just watched, <laughs> yeah, people who just watched, like, you know, people who randomly turn up to, to wrestling streams were just too fucking annoying. So I turned on the 10 minute follower thing so that those dicks would either not follow and not talk, or at least have to wait 10 minutes to say pick a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> what do I 
do here? Uh, could lob. Try hit the ball. No point. Could base two people. Seems good. But he can still launch halflings, can't he? Oh yeah, especially bad that he's given him a blow. Yeah, Shawnee. I mean, he might as well, right? He's not going to cast a fucking tree. So it's only it's only a personal lap over this guy getting badly hurt or whatever, or it's the first guy to get cast or the first guy to get KO. I don't know. You can lob. You can lob. You can lob halflings at cages, can't you? I guess yeah. The tree's rooting is better on offense than defense. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick! <laughs> I mean, plus I haven't played many games, so maybe that's part of it. Oh, surf. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's got a dodge, otherwise he gets served. <laughs> that would have been fun, wouldn't it? I wouldn't say that I like fling offense, I just kind of don't like fling offense. <laughs> Matthew, um, no, fatten you can ask, whatever you want, whenever you want. <laughs> Alright, so I can punch him. I can put him in front of the cage. Foul him. But then I've got nothing back for this guy. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ! Fuck off. 
<laughs> oh, fucking love it, yeah. <laughs> it didn't seem like we talked about the game much, did it? Um, but hey. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone for that hit. But you know, if that if that had been a removal, it'd been a nice foul, wouldn't it? Oh, fl flicky flack! <laughs> Seven a.m. school. Seven a.m. school. Ryan is is <laughs> his mushroom farm. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. 111 games. No, it's not Skuro's fault at all. Skuro said it. Skuro said it, not me. I'm not blaming it on him. <laughs> <laughs> It's a really annoying route now, isn't it? Because now he'd, he'd love to blitz that that tree. I mean, obviously he wouldn't have gone there if he could blitz, but you know what I mean. Like it's it's pretty annoying routing. Ces joueurs sont tout poche. Le combat paraît inévitable. It allowed him to go there. Hello, Putlinby. Uh, not great overall, but again, if you learn to play on the CCL, it, you're not going to have a good win rate, are you? Like, so you know, 111 games is like, is really new, isn't it? Like, it's really new. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy to say, but it's r super new. Like, it took me so long to have a clue what was going on in Total War and like Battle Brothers. Lots of hours of playing. And so you kind of need that many hours in this as well, don't you? And especially if you're not like using all of the resources and everything. Okay, so the first thing's first. <laughs> I want to throw a fling at him. Maybe I shouldn't. No, I, won't throw, I won't throw a fling at him. Go for the pow. It's thirty percent in it, it might work. No. We want to foul this guy again. I've got in the way of the fucking tree. Well, that's shit, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's really shit. Exactly, Flicky, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, Blood Bowl PvP, exactly, yeah. Like, you're not getting the easy way to, like, crack the dumb AI, is it? Like, that's the thing, the Battle Brothers, I was able to crack the dumb AI and, like, the way you level and that. And then once you level and you can beat stupid AI, that's Battle Brothers sold, isn't it? Total War, once you can once you can level and beat the dumb AI, that's Total War sold, isn't it? <laughs> you know.
Like, how long would it take to get good at, at Total War multiplayer? Probably a long old time. Nah, I wasn't gonna... I, wasn't gonna, I just wasn't gonna re-roll that route anyway. With only two left. I want one roll for one re-roll for defense, don't I? <laughs> Russian dolls with swords, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but like, you know, in the terms of the AI in the fights, right? The fight, fighting the battles is super easy because they're terrible at fighting the battles. Even. All right, one, two, three, four, five. That's a dodge there, isn't it? And then a dodge in to one dice him. Um, and dot, not, not, yeah, so. He's going to go there. I don't really like getting somebody punched here. Put him in there. <laughs> yes, going for sixty five. Oh god. <laughs> um yes Art. Hello. <laughs> I mean there's nothing apart from going to sixty five with them, is I'm not just gonna play them for fun. I mean I, I am playing for them for fun, but like do you know what I mean? Like there's still gonna be the goal there, isn't there? Obviously. So the edge four could go to make it two. That's probably worth it. I could have just gone there. That's I've just added it. Look at you making me bloody do the wrong thing. No, this way I could have done two GFIs of a pop dodge. So this probably I don't know if it was better or not. I'm gonna pretend it was better. And none of you fuckers can stop me from pretending it was better. Bad thing is the push direction, isn't it? <laughs> oh, he failed, wanker! Ooh. I quite like these occupying these. As much as I'd love to just like throw somebody into scoring range. He's got no. Well, he's got one reroll, but still. Keeping people occupied with uh, non blockers is good, isn't it? <laughs> you take him the cup. Yeah, I can't take anything else out, so yeah. If I do it. <laughs> yeah, he gets the scatter here, though, doesn't he? Big pal there. And the non blocker. Yeah, not in a tackle zone. But this could you could use a reroll here. I mean you could even fail potentially. No. Yeah, some people some people don't go on crazy win streaks with half things. I can't understand it myself. But there you go. Halfling. Well, we could just have three halflings over sixty-five. Imagine that three halflings qualify. Would be amazing. Great as CCL all times. Yeah, man, got the safety fling.
in daytime she can do <laughs> oh yeah, there was up to four, yeah. Yeah, I forgot there was up to four now. Amazing. Four qualifiers. Could you imagine that? Oh, he got the power bastard. Shouldn't this guy shouldn't I? I thought he could reach there anyway. But he can't. <laughs> so I should have done with him, then he could have gone there. But he can't, he can't reach. Fuck. Just gotta wander him. Oh, now it looks really good to have thrown him, doesn't it? Okay. Not looking great. For fuck's sake. Yeah, it's sake, crazy, Tony. isn't it? Yeah. Stop being shit. <laughs> I fling <flipped> wall. <laughs> yeah, that was I should have thrown I should have thrown the guy who hadn't moved yet, shouldn't I? That was pretty stupid. Cause I should have just thought what if things go right? He wasn't really in range to do anything, that guy, anyway. And indeed KO'd himself. I mean, he, he did something by going there. But, like, having said that, if this guy landed, this was great. This was a great spot, and it was an extra player in the zone, wasn't it? So if that had landed, it would have been pretty good. In fairness. And they'd have both been sidesteppers. C'est tout sauf une bonne idée de finir sa course si près de la ligne de touche. C'est un coup à se faire pousser dans la foule. La dernière fois que c'est arrivé, il a fallu trois jours pour reconstituer le corps. Well, I can use a reroll at least here. The last couple of turns, like, he really could have used a reroll. And just hasn't had to. Si le joueur arrive à conserver son intégrité physique, il pourra rejoindre la zone d'en but en sprintant. Mais j'ai bien dit si. Fucking bollocks, this isn't it? <laughs> okay, that's all right. No rerolls now, though. Makes things very tough. Right. 
<laughs> he could go three, four, five, six, seven. And go one, two, three, four, and you could get two D. He could dodge for a toss first. No. I'll do this first. It's not going to work, is it? But I can try. Oh, there's a chance. Woo! That's that and that, or it's three going the other way. No, it's two dodges, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Woo! Oh, <laughs> baby, got the 2D. Well, maybe, haven't got it yet. Got the chance of a 2D. Got the 2D. <laughs> got the board down. <laughs> oh, right in front of him. Fuck off. <laughs> Jim Shard. Fuck off! Jim fucking Shard. Uh, because LVDA Boomer, Pepper Biscuit said, I would like to see you play Halfling sometime, Jimmy. So I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> there you go. But it is a perfect eight turn stall, isn't it? Hello, Audrey Dolly. Uh, yeah, it's been going all right. I mean, the first half was incredibly lucky. Then he had one turn of luck where he cast three flings. <laughs> and then, uh, well, yeah, it hasn't been, hasn't been so good the second half. Had a few chances. Had a few chances to do things, but both trees have rooted relatively early and used two rerolls on roots as well. And it's been uh, disappointing. Been a little bit disappointing, just because you know having the, having like the uh, the hope of the first half has made the second half disappointing. Basically, I guess I should have just stood him up, but uh, there was a chance of tossing him. Yeah, trees and better inducements. Yeah, that's true. But you can just play goblins uh, reliably, can't you? Eliod goes like zero, zero secret weapons, goblins. But yeah, the trolls having one is horrible. To be fair. The trolls having a loan is horrible. But um goblins are a lot better, like on a man on a man for man basis. Um like goblins players, the goblin, you know, the 0 to sixteen goblin is so much better than 0 to sixteen half isn't it? Like it's so much better. Um But yeah, obviously trees and better inducements. Like far better inducements in it, buggy's better. Uh, chef's better. So like, yeah. I probably shouldn't even do anything here, should I? In case of the, uh, I should just consign myself to one turning. <laughs> well, there you go. Look at him. He, he did something. All right. Let's try this, no way goes. <laughs> Fucking cast again. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Not many players for the one turn. <laughs> GG. <laughs> it's not over yet though. There's a chance of a one turn. There was a 2D there, potentially. He is a nice dongy. Yeah. But yeah, there's a chance of the one turn. That that three on the LOS was brutal, wasn't it? Because if it wasn't for that LOS, there'd be there'd be a full eleven here to collect the ball. Oh wow, that's brutal for a biscuit. Brutal. Table leg dongers. <laughs> no, no, he's people's champ, isn't he? Table leg. But yeah, ding dong is a pretty good name. Oh, 
Uh, there's a chance here still. Got the reroll for it. I don't know where you should stand to get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe that's okay. Yuck. Yeah, Apple's gone. Alright, there's a chance. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Skuro. Why'd you have to be right? one on the handle. <laughs> <Fuck's sake. laughs> that was depressingly poor. And in Blood Bowl 2020, there'd be another reroll on that, wouldn't there? That'd be fucking awesome. Like, it's going to be so good for halflings. It's going to be so good, the, the new rules are going to be so good for halflings, for sure. Well... That was what a Taylor 2 has. The first half was just incredible. There's like no take roots and then early take roots in the second half. And then uh, dodges were great. Oh no, that's his. His dodges were great. Dodges were great. Yeah, I thought the dodges were great, like, to be fair. The dodges did feel really good and they were the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, I know the Arch 4 was more likely to dodge, but that's still really great rolls, isn't it? Duh. Yeah. Yeah, just needed a bit bit more luck, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I could have played better. First half was incredible, though. Like, the first half was a superb half of Blood Bowl, wasn't it? One of the luckiest halves ever. And then second half, just... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I played shit second half. I mean, I had numerous hits on the ball. Maybe I should have re-rolled them. I re-rolled two roots, I think. Maybe I only re-rolled one route. Maybe I should have re-rolled the other route. Right, well, there you go. Well done, ding-donger. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.